every Premier League manager reacts match day 22. As you can see, I've already made a big difference for the club. We beat Manchester United, we've scored against the third best team in the Premier League, and unlike Steve Cooper, I don't look like a mentally challenged Goonies character. We're coming for you this Sunday, Jurgen. Me, my world-class team, and David Coot on VAR. Martin Odegaard says, here we come. If any of those babes on TikTok who keep making my interviews go viral want to get in touch, hit me up. Aren't they all like 13? Oh shit. I just don't understand how that happened. That formation worked perfectly on FIFA 22. An absolute classic. Fun, exciting, and entertaining. I give the Barbie movie 10 out of 10. And what about the game, Marco? The game? I haven't seen that one. Is it good? Is Ryan Gosling in it? No, the game against Everton, Marco. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't watching. No, 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 We've sent him off for a DNA test to check if he's actually Navigator. I've been to see the referee. One of his assistants was eating a sandwich. I thought that was a complete lack of respect. <coughs> what? <coughs> what? Ah, good evening. Uh, we are no longer unbeaten at Villa Park. Uh, we are no longer in the top four. All part of the plan. You hope a league here we Come. I'm afraid Eddie is currently having a colonoscopy, not for medical reasons, but purely for pleasure. So instead, I, the great Jason Tyndall, will be doing the interview. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Turns out we never needed Saudi money to motivate my team. Just a one-night stay at the unofficial Newcastle sex penthouse every time we win. <laughs> Bagsy first. <laughs> Spurs are back in the top four, and I'm once again the greatest Australian since Hugh Jackman. And you may be surprised, mate, but like Hugh Jackman, I've never taken steroids either. This weight gain was 100% natural. It's a shame we lost, but I enjoyed that Neil Mopay celebration. Ow! It's my celebration! That game was so easy, we let Darwin film a crossbar challenge for our social media team. I think we'll play our under-18s in the Carabao Cup final to give Chelsea a chance. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When Todd Bowley gives you a totally shit collection of players, well, here we are. So, how do you rate the performance today, Pep? Totally shit! How can you spend that much money on players and deliver a result like that? Uh, but you won. I was talking about Chelsea. There was no way City wouldn't beat us today. Because of the golfing quality between the teams? No because the Sheik gave me five million to throw the game. Anyway, that's off the record. Let's start the interview. You can't blame Calvin Phillips for being a bit off the pace. He hasn't played for two years. Before you ask, I'm not Doc Octopus. I wasn't in Raiders of the Lost Ark, and I'm not an actor. I think Andoni and Raul has lost the plot. What was VAR doing again? Casemiro deserved a red card for that despicable foul on Neto. You can't kick the air that close to a player's shin. The tequilas are on me. Everybody, fall in shit. Join the 442's Members Club by clicking the Join button now. There are three tiers to choose from. Unlock loyalty badges and emojis. Production stills. Sneak peeks. Muller's Daily Joke. Guess the footballer. Script access. And even get your name in the credits. Hit join or the link in the description to support 442's now. Adios.